if I'm taking the sum of an arithmetic sequence, so something that is, has a common difference, where we are adding in between each term. Let a1 be the first term, an be the nth term, and d be the common difference. Then the summation is going to be n times a1 plus the common difference times n minus 1 times n all over 2. Or, and I do like this second formula better, we take n over 2, actually, take n times a1 plus a n all over 2. I certainly prefer this one and because I think it makes more sense. For example, let's say we wanted to sum the first 100 positive integers. So I want to take the sum. Now look at that, that's example 4. The first 100 positive integers. This means I'm summing from i i equals 1 to 100. If I were to write this out, sorry, we're actually summing the odd integers. So what we're doing is we're saying we're going to take 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, so on and so forth, all the way up to 199, and before that 197, before that 195. There is a pattern here. That if I add 1 and 199, that gives me 200. 3 and 197 gives me 200. 5 and 195 gives me 200. So actually, the average of all these pairs is going to be the same as the first term plus the last term divided by 2. So the average of this entire set of numbers is 100. And since I have 100 terms, I'm going to times that by n. This is where your formula comes from, and we'll talk about this a little bit more explicitly in class. But so what I see here then is that my sum for the first 100 positive integers is going to be 100 times my first term, 1, plus my last term, 199, all over 2, which will equal 100 times 100 equals 10,000. So S100 equals 10,000. And let's take a little bit more time to look at why this works. Let's say instead I wanted to take the sum of the first the first 20 even integers. Well, these are going to be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 all the way up to 32 plus 34 plus 36 plus 38 plus 40. Well, look at this. I get 2 and 40 is 42. 4 and 38 is also 42. 6 and 36 is 42. 8 and 34 is 42. And 10 and 32 is 42. So the average for this entire set will be 42 divided by 2 equals 21. which gives us is the same as taking the first term plus the last term and dividing by 2. We get an average of 21. However, since we have 20 terms, to find the sum, we're going to take 20 times the average. So 20 times 21, we get 420 is going to be our sum. And this is where the formula comes from in general. All right, lastly, we will look at the partial sums of a geometric sequence.